What's up guys? So, Honor, which was Huawei's sub-brand, well Honor separated from Huawei due to the ban issues, and after separation though, Honor now can use Google services in its smartphones, and now, Honor is all set to launch its first smartphone series, after being sold by Huawei, in November 2020, and that series called the Honor 50. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, sub to this channel will be amazing. Now, let's get start the video. So, this smartphone is the exact same copy of the upcoming Huawei P50 series, which is surprising and great for us. At the same time, because we get to see the Huawei P50 like look a lot earlier. So, here is the official look of the Huawei P50, and here is the Honor 50. It's having four cameras, in two big circles, and what is presumably the primary camera takes up the entire upper circle, while three smaller sensors and a flash can be seen located on the circle below. Also, the design is very much similar to the upcoming Huawei P50 series phones. Just the main difference, here is the location of the main sensor, because the main camera sensor of the Huawei P50 series is located on the upper side, and other three camera sensors are located in circle below. Furthermore, there are different color options in this phone, which further suggests that the Huawei P50 might get similar color options as the Honor 50, because, I would say despite being separate from Huawei, this design similarity between the leading smartphone series of two big brands suggests that the Honor 50 may have been in development and design and planning phase much before Honor separated and become an independent company. So, there cannot be any other explanations though, since Honor's sale included all of its assets, including our ND arms supply chain and a workforce of more than 7,000 employees. So due to no longer being associated with Huawei, the US government's restrictions do not apply to Honor smartphones. And this smartphone is finally coming with Google services, but the Huawei P50 will not have them. Instead, it will have a brand new operating system called Harmony OS, which is great. Anyway, the Honor 50 will also come with 100 watt supercharging technology, and I'm sure that this amazing feature will also come with the Huawei P50, but this is not officially confirmed. Also, you know that, Huawei unveiled the second major version of Harmony Operating System 2.0, and several new devices that have it pre-installed, and now, the number of products that upgraded to the new OS has apparently already crossed 10 million in just a week with the release of Harmony OS. Moreover, the Chinese tech giant also announced a number of smartphone models and other products that would receive this update. Also, according to a QQ report, news had initially surfaced that the company managed to bring in over 10 million devices to the new operating system by some netizens. But now, internal staff members of Huawei have apparently made the news official and confirmed this report. As of right now, it is estimated that there are about 200 million smartphones from the brand in circulation all across the globe. Most of these models would be eligible for the upgrade to the newly launched Harmony OS. So, we can expect this number to rise even further as more models become eligible for the new update. By the way, earlier this week, the media group announced that it is closely working together with Huawei to integrate the latter Harmony OS and its products. The group also stated that it has already launched 12 products that are equipped with Harmony OS across seven different categories. Notably, the news arrives just days after an executive of the Chinese home appliance maker announced that most of its smart products will feature the smartphone brand proprietary operating system. Also, the former had even announced that it would be cooperating with Huawei for its Harmony OS back in 2020. Just recently, Midia had even launched the world's first smart refrigerator that supports the Harmony OS. So, the company added that its products launching with the new OS will also enable it to offer its customers more value and better services as well. Furthermore, the Harmony OS platform was built with multi-device support and cross-platform integration as well. This means that its ecosystem is designed to work in a smart home where multiple IoT products are connected to one another and can be controlled by the user remotely through a smartphone or a smart hub. 
The company has already launched various products, with Harmony OS, with new releases including the likes of, dehumidifiers, refrigerators, and more. So, this number is likely to rise further with new launches in the near future. Anyway, what do you guys think about it? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you somehow like this video, sub to the channel will be make my day. And my name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, so as always I'll catch you guys in the next one. Gotta let you say, cause I fuck it up.